Hey, how's it going everyone? Mick from All About Tech. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk about transferring photos and videos from your iOS or iPadOS based devices to a Windows based PC. At the moment, it is a very frustrating thing. Um, you plug your phone in uh, or your iPad into the into the Windows based PC. Half the time it's either not recognized or it will get quarter of the way or halfway through transferring a file uh, and then it suddenly disconnects even though it's not disconnected. And then there's always the, the, the random uh, time where, where things do get transferred properly. As someone that's on iOS for my mobile, but a main Windows based PC for my main rig where I edit videos, etc. And with the camera on the iPhone 11 being uh, being so capable, I want to film more with the iPhone 11 so that I don't have to take the main camera off of the desk when I do my main shoot uh, like I am now. So I've found an app that is really, really good. It's so simple. It's so easy to be able to transfer your uh, photos and videos very easily from your iOS, iPadOS device straight to the PC wirelessly over Wi-Fi and fast. Let's get straight into it and I'm going to show you how to do it and the first thing we need to do is we need to download an app on our uh, iOS uh, device. So first things first then, uh, on the iPad um, you're going to see the screen. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to go to the App Store and in the App Store we're going to search for an application called Simple Transfer. And then there's two apps that are available to download. Now, there is a free one and there is a pro version as well. So the Simple Transfer photo and video um, there's a free version of that. That Simple Transfer Pro is the pro version. It's $14.99. From a price aspect, if you're not transferring things all the time, I wouldn't say it's worth it. Um, the free version, it only allows you to transfer the first 50 items in your gallery, which isn't ideal, um, especially on my on my iPhone. My phone just gets filled up with all sorts of memes and GIFs and all, and all sorts um, and I'm, I'm too lazy to go through it all. Um, so what you want to do is download the free one uh, and see if see if you can get by with it. But um, although the price is quite steep, because I want to transfer to and from um, my my i my iPad and my iPhone for videos for YouTube, I'm going to be doing this all the time. So I paid for the uh, for the pro version. Um, so you download it. And then once you download it, open it up and it will say this, um, open simple transfer app on your computer. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move over to the PC um, and I'm going to show you what to do to get that installed as well. So here we are at the main PC. Um, if you type in this website here, uh, rambax.com simple trans slash simple transfer slash desktop it will bring you to the simple transfer desktop uh, uh, windows client um, you can get this for mac as well so you download the windows version and install it and then once you've installed it you can open up simple transfer desktop which it is on my other screen let me move it over. So as you can see here, we're selecting a device and on the iPad itself, it's currently beaming um, basically a signal over Wi-Fi to try and find this client. And as you can see, it's found the client. It's got an IP address. It asks you to put in a verification code, which is on the iPad. And then it will connect you straight up to your, your device's gallery, etc. Um, all your different folders, etc. I don't have anything in there at the moment, but once I finish recording on the iPad, I will show you how to transfer the, uh, the, the, the footage from the iPad to the PC. So now that I've stopped recording on the iPad, as you can see, a video has popped up on the Simple Transfer Windows client. So if you click on that video, 
you'll see there that there is a video that I've just taken of the iPad. It's the uh, screenshot of me installing it, which I'll edit for this video. And what we want to do is we want to click on it and we want to click download. Now, depending on how you film or what format your, 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 your video is in. So yesterday I did a video where I filmed in 4K60. So I wanted it to go mp4 because with davinci resolve it doesn't support the mov file um so i did mp4 um, and it converts the high efficiency video as well um so i'm just going to do the same thing again you select your folder i've selected my folder as videos to edit which is an ssd for all my videos click download and it will download it and look how quick that was it's only a three minute video um, and now if we show the file as you can see here now all of these videos here i transferred yesterday and they were large files they basically they converted the file first because the 4k60 uh, doesn't natively record in .mp4 it's a dot uh, mov so it converted it first and then it downloaded it and it's really quick i mean some of these are like well they they won't be any more because they were converted but the movs before they were converted were uh, two gigabytes plus for some of the videos so as you can see here open it up and i've got my full recording here and it's literally that simple guys and um, i know that the pro version is a bit on the pricier side i'd only recommend it to those that are doing it on a on a very regular basis or if say you have two ios based devices if you tend to free up the space on one device um, and you're recording it on the other airdrop what it what you need transferring onto the one that doesn't have anything on it basically and then transfer it that way and then you can get away with still getting the free version i just got the pro version because i'm going to be transferring from both of these on a regular basis for youtube as well but yeah that's that that's literally it i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful i wish i f i wish i found out about this sooner because it is it, it, it's been so frustrating transferring um, large video files for YouTube, etc. Uh, onto the PC to edit um, because I, I don't think iTunes works very well on, on Windows and I don't pay for copious amounts of iCloud space either. So um, hopefully you found this useful, guys. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, make sure you subscribe to All About Tech and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any future videos and I'll catch you guys out in the next one. Peace.